If you're here, thank you for watching. Welcome to the video. This is me running through, I've never done this before, um, but a lot of people in the past have asked for me to do tutorials on my covers. So this is As It Was by Harry Styles. This is the way that I play it. I actually just figured out, I haven't filmed the cover yet. Um, I just figured it out, so I'm pretty hyped. It's pretty fun to play. So I'm just gonna kinda go through the cover. I'm not really gonna teach it. I'm just gonna go through and tell you what I'm doing so that you can figure it out. Um, the way that I'm playing it on my loop pedal, you will need to have three tracks. So I'm using the Boss RC300, which has three separate tracks. Um, so that's pretty important. You you definitely can play it with a smaller loop pedal, but you would just have to kind of figure it out and decide which track is most important for you to use. Um, I have uh, an Akai, I think that's how you say it, MPK Mini Play. This thing's awesome. The regular MPK Mini can't play on its own. It needs to be hooked up to a computer, but this one can be powered by batteries. Um, so I picked this up used. I actually have my old one over here. I don't even use it. I picked this up used because I wanted to use it for covers. Um, so it's really cool. So I just have it plugged in through the headphone jack or for the, the aux on my loop pedal. And then I have the output um, in this to the headphone so I can so I can play it. So it's really just, this is nice. You don't need this. I don't need this. It's just, um, I, like I usually do the drums with the guitar and then I can do the... So I was doing that, but then I decided I kind of wanted the electronic feel. So for this, I have the Akai MPK Mini Play. I'm using, let's see, um, the Electric Piano 2. So I'm just going to go through like my settings for everything right now. So first of all, standard tuning, capo on third fret. The chord progression for this song does not change. It is C, A minor, D, and G. Um, you can play a normal G if you want. I think it sounds better. I forgot. I don't know what this is. Anyways, um, it doesn't change. That's the that's the entire song. So this song's really easy to loop. It's really fun. Um, I have so I'm using the electric piano two setting on this, and also the um, fretless bass. Those are what I'm using, and then I'm using I think just the standard drum drum set on my loop pedal. On the first, um, I have the I have the BPM set to I believe 85. I think something like that. 85, and then on track one, I have it set to four beats, so whole measure, and then track two and three, just one, just one beat. So basically what that means is I can go like this. Okay, scratch that, that was really dumb. Um, basically what it means is that this will play through four, all right, so one whole measure. So I can do the whole chord progression on this on this one track. And then tracks two and three, I can just do like this. And it's gonna immediately loop. So I don't have to like, you know, beat on the guitar for four whole four whole beats. Okay. Um, that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, obviously ask me. I'm gonna try and go through this quickly. Bear with me. Like I said, I'm I'm not a teacher. I'm just showing you how I do it. I just figured it out. So I'll just kind of go through the cover and just tell you what I'm doing. I still don't have the lyrics down. <laughs> So I'm not going to remember the verses, so I'm just going to tell you, you know, whatever, during the verses. Uh, so basically how I'm starting the song is I'm just starting off by playing the C bass note, A, a D, and then a G, along with, just listen to these, you can figure it out. I'm not going to be super technical. So basically I'm playing this. So I'm going with the C with the A, and then with the D, and then I'm playing a higher G, because I can't reach that one. So that's how I'll start the loop. Next, I'll immediately head over to the bass, so I'll get the, the fretless bass, and then I'll bring it down two octaves, and play those notes. Um, and I'm also using an effect on my loop pedal called the, um, it's called the filter effect. That's just going to add like a cool filtery effect to this that I'm playing at the beginning. Um, and then uh, it gets technical. It's, it takes, this is why it takes so long for me to make my covers because I just have to practice it. Um, so let me go through it and I'll tell you what I'm doing. And by now, I'm assuming you've already watched the cover, so you'll be able to go back and forth if you need to. Um, this video is really for people who really want to learn exactly the way I play this. So I'm just going to start going through it. 
Um, notice that after I play this whole part and then the bass, I'm gonna change the effect on my loop pedal to delay, just because that's the effect that I want for the other loops that I'm gonna set. And that takes a second, so I just like trying to figure out the timing. Right now I'm going to finish that loop and I'm going to change the effect to delay because that's what I need next. Turn it off. And I just switched over to the electric piano, which is what I'm going to use for the for the, the like synth that happens during the chorus. So that's ready to go and I'm going to set the drums. Those are set. And then to make everything kind of go pop when I first start all the loops together, when I play this, I'm going to stop the drums first because I don't want everything to play at first and then I start it. I want it to be like the first time you hear everything is this like, you know, whole thing. So I'm going to turn on the delay. Loops are basically set for now. We'll, we'll, we'll set a few more loops later, but notice, so track one is that chord progression with the bass. Track two is just the, the synth, um, and then track three is the drums. So just keep that in mind. And then basically what I'm going to do is like, I'm, I'm going to kind of play the chords. I did there so that's when the song starts right so basically I have these two going or no sorry these two I'm planning on playing the chords along D and then I'll stop the chord track stop all together so that's I kind of like how it's like this you know it's cool and then when I start singing I'll just get rid of the middle track which is the synth and then singing I'm just kind of strumming First, uh, the first four bars, I'm just strumming while I'm singing, and then I'll get into this to make it a little more dramatic. dramatic. And then I'm going to cut the drums. In this world, it's just us. I just kind of like how it works, kind of going through the... It's not the same. Bring the drums back in. In this world, it's just us. You know, it's not the same as it was. As it was. As it was. You know, it's not the same as it was. As it was. drums and track one with the chord progression this is verse two so basically i'll go back what i did there is i basically just so i turned on my delay pedal because i wanted the delay effect on my voice, voice, voice in here, here just because it sounds better um because this microphone kind of sucks and so i just added the as it was it was just three octaves so there's no harmonies i tried to do harmonies none of them sounded good 
So, and then I went back and listened to the song and I don't think there are any harmonies to that, to the chorus that as it was, pretty sure it's just layered octaves. So that's just what I did. So I just, you can hear the... So those with delay, and then those are on that second track now. I don't need to worry about that because that's only going to come in during the chorus, which is fine because that's when I'm singing that. Um, and then I will get rid of that later. Luckily with the RC300, um, like with that last loop, I can go back and delete it by holding down the record button for two seconds while it's playing. It'll delete those harmonies and then it's just back to the... So we'll go back and do that later because I don't want that at the end of the song. Um... But yeah, so basically we go into the second verse, and that goes the exact same as the first verse, only the only difference is that I start the drums, uh, or I don't stop the drums when you start singing the In this world So I'll show you how it goes. So I don't remember the lyrics, so bear with me. So second verse, gonna go into the bridge. So this time the drum keeps going. In the uh, the first time I stopped the drums here and then brought them in. You know it's not the same as it was in this world. It's just us. You know it's not the same as it was. As it was. As it was. You know it's not the same. that note is but you basically sing through that um, I was thinking about doing a harmony and kind of like building that up and then dipping into the final chorus I think I'm just gonna sing it twice and that's fine um, I might do a harmony I mean you'll know from the video what I decide to do but if I do a harmony then you'll see I'll just build it up and <sighs> but what I would do with that harmony is I would build it on the track one because I have that full four the full four beats um, or the full four bars to be able to build that up. And then right before I go into the chorus, I would hold down the record on track one to delete that. That way it's not playing when we go back into the final chorus because I don't want that. So that's what I would do. But basically after I finish that, so it's... speed internet I don't want to talk about the way that it was Leave America to kids for I don't want to talk about us doing it first I'll just go back into this. In this world, it's just us. You know, it's not the same as it was. In this world, it's just us. You know, it's not the same as it was. As it was. So I'll play through this. I'll play through this a few times, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hold down the record button um, on track two to get rid of the as it was harmonies, because I don't want those for the outro. So I'll hold down, this is all while I'm singing. And that'll delete those. That's just kind of how I'll end it. So I wanted to delete those because the actual song ends with this. That's how it ends. And so that's why I deleted those harmonies. But yeah, so basically at the end of the song, I kind of kick out the drums as I sing the last few as it was. And then I have these going. And then I kick out the chord progression and the bass. Just for those last few lines. Boop. And that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions, I hope that that was easy enough to follow. Obviously, this is going to be more of an advanced cover, I guess. Um, I mean, this has taken me a while. Like, I'm still trying to figure this out and make sure I have it down because I have to record it. Um, I appreciate any of you who have watched through this entire video. If you want more tutorials like this where I walk through my covers and how I record them and how I loop them, how I build the loop, um, and what I'm doing with my feet, then please just let me know. 
I'm sure there's a few of you that would like something like that. Um, I can also maybe go back to older covers too, if any of you have requests, and just kind of go back through how I looped those and how I made those covers. Um, I just thought I'd throw this together, just a real quick one take, so I hope that you were able to bear with me. Um, I started to ramble. I don't know how long this video will be, but thank you for watching. Please, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like the video if you know any buddies of yours who play guitar or like this song or have a loop pedal or want to jam, just share it. Um, and turn on the notifications because my plan is to try my best to start uploading covers again. Um, I have the setup. We moved. We have a garage now, so I have this setup in here. Um, and yeah, any, any new song suggestions, let me know. If you have any questions, like I said, um, comment. And I hope that you guys enjoy it, and I hope that you're able to follow along. If you do happen to use um, this tutorial to try and make a cover of your own, please tag me in it and let me know so I can go give it a like. Um, thank you guys and peace.